Hello, my purple banditos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Glaze. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time, we ran around with Blake here in Southerly City, and we were told that in order to use the HM Fly, we're gonna have to go ahead and take on Southerly City's gym leader, Ernest, the guy with good firepower. Now, the thing is, a lot of you guys have been asking me if I'm going to evolve Kuza. Now, as you guys know, Kuza's our little Eevee, our little friend that we've had for quite a while that was given to us in Serenity Isle. Now, there's a good reason why I nicknamed this Pokemon Kuza, and it is because it means grass in Japanese. Now, Kuza is a Pokemon that I've been really wanting to evolve, and a lot of you guys might have guessed, yeah, I want to evolve this Pokemon into a Leafeon. So good guess to all of you guys who actually picked that one out. A lot of you guys picked up on the name, so good on you. Now, the thing is, apparently you can't evolve an Eevee into a Leafeon in this game, but the good thing is that we're here in Southerly City, and if you head out this exit, there are a bunch of Leafeons here in this patch of grass. So the good thing about that is that, I guess you could say, Kuza has a long-lost twin brother who is going to be joining us in our adventure. So, with a little bit of editing magic, here we go, guys. We're about to introduce a new Pokemon to our team. So with that, guys, I would like you to welcome Kuza the Leafeon to our team. So with that, guys, I have gone ahead and caught another Pokemon. So it is a Leafeon, and I thought, you know, it could be a spiritual evolution to our Kuza the Eevee, since this is the Pokemon that I've really been wanting to get. Now, as you guys can see, I've gone ahead and given it the XP share. I've also trained it up quite a bit. It knows Synthesis, Solar Beam, Magical Leaf, and I taught it Shadow Ball, and I think those are really, really good moves for Kuza. So that'll be really great. Now, what I thought is our other Eevee Kuza we could probably use later on in the adventure since there are still a bunch of other regions and we'll just go ahead and give it a new nickname and you know go from there so I thought that was a pretty good way to do it thanks to all of you guys who actually told me if we went back to Sea Spray Town we could go ahead and actually find a Leaf Stone the bad part about that is that the Leaf Stone actually doesn't work on the Eevee because that's Pokemon Glazed for you for some reason you cannot evolve an Eevee into a Leafeon which I think is really weird but regardless of that we're gonna go ahead and make our way inside of Southerly City's gym take on its leader Ernest the guy with good firepower so thanks to all you guys with your comments and your tips they're much appreciated make sure you guys give this video a like it really helps the series Ooh, it's hot in here what if you couldn't tell Ernest uses the fire type going up against it with grass and bug types would be a bad idea so we are here in a fire type gym today guys and now I guess we can't really use our new leafy on right away so Kuza's gonna have to chill out for a little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and just start off with Gilligan and Daenerys so let's go ahead and take on our first battle of today and let's see what it's all gonna be about now it's a fire type gym so I'm not too worried about it just because it is a fire type gym. We have Gilligan ready to go. We have Cheeky ready to go. A lot of our Pokemon can use Earthquake. So we're going to be pretty dominant in this gym or at least I hope so. I'm going to go ahead and just use as many Earthquakes as possible because I think that's going to be the best strategy to taking down all these Pokemon. You know, regardless, we do have Surf, but I just have a good feeling about Earthquake. So let's just go ahead and do it. We also have Daenerys here who might take quite a beating if I go for this Earthquake, but we're gonna go ahead and take it. Also, I know that Daenerys will be evolving soon. It's the last of our Pokemon that doesn't have its final evolution, but I know that it's going to come a little bit higher in the levels, so it's gonna probably take a little while for us to get Daenerys caught up, you know, to its final evolution since it's so much higher up there, and I don't really want to train our Pokemon, you know, way too you know, much, because then it'd just make it a little bit too easy. So I want to just keep them, you know, at about a good level, a good even level. And I feel like I have them about that level right now, even though I guess you could say we're still even a little bit over leveled, but I'm trying to just keep them, you know, the levels down a little bit. So hopefully by the next gym, they'll be balanced out. And I'm pretty sure that's what's going to happen. I actually really expect there to be a huge level increase and it never really came. I was really expecting it to happen and it just didn't. So that's kind of strange. Maybe, you know, they'll go ahead and change that up sometime. Who knows? Maybe once we get to the Elite Four, the levels will be huge. Or once we even take on Blake, who should still be the champion by the time we get there, you know, we should be pretty good in levels against him. So with that, guys, we gained a bunch of XP, though. And last but not least, who's going to come out? A Houndoom. So this has actually been pretty easy so far. 
you know what? Gilligan and Daenerys actually make a really good combination. I always like putting a Pokemon that can use Earthquake with a Pokemon that, you know, doesn't really get affected by it. So once, you know, our little Daenerys actually gets up to its final evolution, it's going to be a really, really good double team, you know, tag team thing going on. And that's what I'm excited for. So with that, guys, the Houndoom has gone down and we gained a bunch of XP. Kuza gained XP. We defeated the first couple battlers here in this gym. So let's go ahead and continue on. All right. You seem strong, so I'll put out that fire blocking the way. Okay, so these guys put out the fire. I'm okay with that, you know? I'm okay with that. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and actually switch out. Let's go ahead and put Cheeky up in front. Kuza also has the XP share for now, so let's go ahead and battle the next trainer. You know, I woke up today. I woke up today like this. I, I don't even know. I woke up today, and one of my favorite things is to look out the window when I wake up. I don't know, you know, something so small can make me so happy. I woke up today and, you know, I usually, you know, drink a little bit of water, you know, you know, do my own thing in the morning, you know, the, the usual morning rituals everyone does. And then, you know, I walk out into the living room we have and I just looked outside and it's just such a beautiful view. It's this beautiful forest, you know, the park I used to go to as a kid, and there's just so many trees. I mean, it's like this huge, you know, mount of trees, and you can just keep looking at it forever. And I just stare at it, and it just makes me so happy. I'm like, well, you know, it's going to be a good day. It's going to be a great day. And it's awesome that, you know, one little thing like that can really shape your day and put it in the right direction. I think it definitely does that for me. This is one of those places where I just wake up, and I'm just so thankful for everything I have, you know. I look around me, and I'm like, I'm just so thankful to be be able to spend time with my family and to you know just enjoy life a little bit and i think that's what it's all about you know taking a moment of your day to just you know appreciate life i think it's always good to do that i've heard that you know when you go on an adventure or something you're always going to want to take a picture of those sorts of things but there's also that moment when it's okay you should just put your phone away you know you should put your camera away and you should just take in the view you know even though you might want to take a picture sometimes it's better to just look at it for that moment and to just really take it in and appreciate it for what it is, you know, to see it with your own eyes and remember it, you know, in your memory. So I think that's one of the things that I've tried to do lately. If I ever see a really beautiful view or something that really stands out to me, I try my best to just, you know, kind of take a take a picture in my head and just keep it there, you know, and just just remember that memory and how beautiful that was because it really makes you appreciate life when you see things that way. I think it's a lot more meaningful when we just take something you know, in, into ourselves rather than just, you know, sitting there and taking a picture of it. But it's also good to take pictures. I like taking pictures too. So I guess it just depends on the moment and what you're doing. But with that, guys, we defeated another one of these guys. And with that, I believe we are going to be ready to take on Ernest, the gym leader. So I feel pretty good. We're going to go ahead and leave Cheeky up in front. Gilligan's a little bit burned. Everybody else will be pretty much ready to step up if needed. So let's go ahead and take on Ernest. Hello, young citizen. They call me Ernest, and I'm the gym leader around these parts. You wish to get the Blaze Badge? Then we must battle first. Let's go! Here we go, Rodri versus Ernest, the fire-type gym leader. And I'm actually really pumped for this fight. He's got five Pokemon ready to go. And as you guys can see, they are going to be a lot stronger than we realized, guys. So I was talking about levels, but... He seems to be pretty well and caught up as of now. With that, though, the Earthquake is going to be super effective. I wouldn't be surprised if I one-shot every one of these Pokemon. I wouldn't be surprised at all. Oh, next up is a Charizard. Mother fudger! I actually wanted to switch out against the Charizard. Let me go ahead and actually bring out Cranky. Because I think Cranky will be able to handle this Charizard without any trouble. Let's see what you got, Cranky. Let's see what you got. Charizard's going to go for the sunny day. I see you, Charizard. I see you. I know what you're doing. This Charizard's trying to just sweep our team, but I'm not going to let that happen. Not today, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to go for the Thunderbolt. Hopefully, let's hope for a crit, baby. Let's hope for a crit. Crit, 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 crit. Oh, that's too bad. That's too bad. Hey, we paralyzed it, though, so that's definitely a benefit for us. Wow, a solar beam. Mother fudger. That's a good call. That is a good call. Hopefully, we can find Sunny Day somewhere around here. Because imagine if our Kuza can actually have Sunny Day. 
with solar beam that would be pretty beastly guys so if you guys have any idea where the heck we can find sunny day let me know because i think that would be really really great with that though we're gonna go ahead and take down the charizard so hey look at cranky being a little bit under level taking down a charizard that's what i like to see let's see who's gonna be coming up next you know it's kind of funny i see a pattern here this guy seems to have all the starting fire types and, uh, well, except the Magmortar, I guess you could say. He's got a couple of them. Typhlosion and Charizard. We'll have to see what the other Pokemon are going to be. You know what? I'm feeling good. I'm going to go for another Thunderbolt. I think Cranky will be able to handle this. I am not worried at all. Let's see how much that... That actually does not do as much as I thought. And we are going to get Fire Blasted. Mother fudger, that's going to take us down. So there we have it, guys. We have been Fire Blasted. I'm going to go ahead and bring out Gilligan, though, before we have to bring Cheeky back out here. Maybe Gilligan will be able to land a very good move. And this battle has heated up. You know, I got to tell you guys, it's definitely uh, warmed up a little bit here. I'm going to go ahead and go for the Earthquake, though. Oh, come on. We can tank this. We can tank this. Come on, Gilligan. We can tank this. Oh, yeah, we did it. Okay, okay, we tanked it. With that, I'm going to go for the Earthquake, and Typhlosion should go down. I can't believe we actually tanked that out. That's awesome. Super effective. Typhlosion has gone down, but you know what? The burn might actually take us down or leave us very close. Next up is a Blaziken, so I am going to switch out. We're going to go ahead and bring Cheeky back out here, and Cheeky should be able to handle the rest of this gym. Cheeky's got this in the bag. I'm not even worried about it. Let's go ahead and do this, guys. All right, Cheeky, let's see what you got. The sunlight faded. I'm going to just keep going for the earthquakes. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is this going to be one of those Pokemon that spam protect? Because I am really going to... Oh, my goodness. I am going to be super annoyed by this. Why do some Pokemon do this? Why do they put this on them? All right, there we go. Come on. Go ahead and hit this, Cheeky. Let's hope for a one-hit KO here, guys. I don't want to be dealing with all these Pokemon using Protect on us. What? Okay, it almost went down. I'm going to just go ahead and spam Sludge Bomb for a while because there we have it. Ernest is going to have some Hyper Potions. And you know what? That's to be expected. So hopefully the Sludge Bomb will still do a good amount of damage to the Blaziken, which it should. And there we have it. See? I knew it. Once in a while, we'll hit a little bit of magic here. And by magic, I mean we'll get lucky and uh, apparently poison the Blaziken. I guess that's a very good strategy for us. Okay, all I need is one more Sludge Bomb, and this Blaziken will go down. Oh my goodness, are you serious? How many Protects is this guy gonna use? Please, Blaziken, you're gonna go down either way here unless, you know, Ernest whoops out another Hyper Potion, and there it is. Okay, so we've gone ahead and at least took out most of Ernest's Hyper Potions. That should be it, and I'm not too worried. Let's hope for a crit here. Come on, crit, 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 crit! Almost, almost, and let's hope that this guy doesn't use Protect again, but let's be honest, he missed! Alright, finally! Protect finally failed with that, guys. We're gonna go ahead and take down the Blaziken. So, he does have a Charizard, Blaziken, and, you know, a Typhlosion, so definitely kind of cool to see that. Oh, and an Infernape, too! I love when Pokemon actually, when Pokemon trainers actually use starters. I think it's so cool. I love seeing that. And there we go. At least his Infernape is gonna go ahead and man up a little bit. And that is, oh my goodness, that almost took us down. Let's go for the Earthquake, and let's hope that this will one-hit KO the Infernape. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, this guy is pumping up some energy, so we should be able to take it down here. He could have beat us there. What the heck? With that, guys, we're going to go ahead and take down the Infernape. So, we have done it, ladies and gentlemen. That wasn't as bad as I thought. We gained a bunch of XP. Kuza gained XP. Kuza grew to level 39. Very nice. We defeated Leader Ernest. The fires of my Pokemon's fighting spirit have been reduced to mere embers. You are truly worthy of this badge. We got 1520 for winning. And with that, guys, we obtained the Blaze Badge. That is the, you know, after Pikachu stole all our badges. I kind of lost count. That is the seventh out of eight badges here in the Donut region. We have one more to go. Wow, honestly. That will allow you to use the Mew Fly outside of battle to sort of places you've never visited. Here, take this too. With that, we obtain TM38, which should be Fire Blast. And we are looking good. That is going to be Fire Blast. And we have finally defeated Ernest. If you're going to challenge Nicole next, you'll want to head through the Espo Forest to Palm Tree Resort. Take care. 
I may be a firefighter, but that's only because I know the beauty and destruction of fire. You must take care around it. So, we were looking quite good, guys. That was actually our sixth badge. Whoops! I mean, you know, Pikachu really messed me up with the whole counting thing after he stole all our badges. That dude really tripped me up. With that, though, we have our six out of eight badges. We have two more to go. So, as this guy said, if we make our way through Espo Forest, that should lead us to the next location. So, we will have to figure out where exactly the Espo Forest is going to lead us. You know, the thing is, we explored the Espo Forest before, and it wasn't that bad. It's not like it was anything too difficult. So, we should be able to make our way through there. I'm going to go ahead and just run back through Espo Forest then, because I do believe that we'll be able to get to the next place now that we have obtained that badge. Now, another thing is, we can finally use the HM Fly as well. But the thing is, we don't really have a Pokemon that can use that right now. So it looks like we are going to have a battle coming up, a couple battles. I'm going to go ahead and put Lanky up in front, and we're going to go ahead and take on uh, whoever this is. Ouch, well that move did quite a bit. Now I guess it's up to Kuza since I didn't heal up our Pokemon because once in a while, I kind of just rush into things. And okay, I totally forgot that we have to use repels here in this forest. I really want to make my way through this forest because I want to arrive in our next location. That's what I've been waiting for, you know, to be able... Oh my goodness, look how awesome Kuza looks though. I gotta give props to that. The Leafeon looks really, really awesome. And I'm actually really excited and happy to have a grass type on our team. I gotta tell you guys, I really, really like grass types. Types. You know, I feel like they're very underrated Pokemon, so whenever I get the chance to use one, I definitely take it. Alright, we found a Dawnstone, though. Let's go ahead and take on this next trainer. So, it's kind of cool that it is Kuza's turn to go through here. I really enjoy that. With that, guys, we have made it to Palm Tree Park. Wait. What the fudge is going on here? Nobody enters or leaves Palm Tree Resort. The only way in would be flying in. Okay, guys. So, there's no other way to get there than flying in. So, next time, we are going to have to continue from this point, ladies and gentlemen, and make our way inside of this park. Now, I'm kind of surprised that we actually can't get through there. So, we're going to have to train up our Pokemon and actually adventure into this place. Now, I believe we're going to have to train our little dragon type much more than Daenerys is only level 41. So, we are definitely going to have to fly in there. And that's going to take probably a little bit more than I expected. I didn't think that we were going to actually have to train our Pokemon until it could use fly. But, that's how it's looking, guys. I'm actually going to make our way back then because there was actually a couple good training spots located around here so let's go ahead and make our way back to southerly city and whoa we're gonna have to use fly who would have thought i actually didn't expect that i thought that we were just gonna be able to run right in but surprise surprise there's a reason why they gave us the hm and a reason why they want us to use it so that's kind of cool actually i you know i respect that i think that's that's gonna be really fun and i'm kind of surprised that we can actually fly into that place it's a little bit strange if i must say so myself that we can only fly in there so next time guys we will We'll continue from this point and hopefully make our way to palm tree park so if you guys have any tips or comments on what's coming up make sure you guys let me know i really appreciate it make sure you guys give this video a like thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next episode goodbye